Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm Genevieve, and I'm so glad you could join me for a sneak peek of Cadsby's Tap. And <laughs> Hi, I'm Genevieve, and I'm so glad you could join me for a sneak peek tour of Gatsby's Tap Museum. And Tap. <laughs> now we've been. Now we've made our way upstairs to the assembly room. This is where people could come and dance at balls or come see entertainment like tightrope walkers or magicians. In fact, right now, now we've made our, now we've made our way up to the assembly room, which was I forgot where the assembly room should Now we've made our way to the assembly room, where people could come and dance at balls or go to entertainment and shows. Uh, they could come and see acts like tightrope walkers or magicians. But there are also people like traveling dentists who would come and they would offer their services in a room like this. This is where you could pay for a place to sleep, not necessarily a bed or a room like today, and you could uh, and you could sleep and you could be sharing a bed with up to two other people. Up to two, up to three, I forget how many people. You could walk up these stairs and pay for a place to sleep in what we call today the dormer room. And they might find themselves sharing a bed and a bathroom with strangers, except in this case, a bathroom isn't, uh, except in this case, a bathroom is just a pot that you keep under, no. Whenever you're ready. Right, so this is room eight, where the female stranger supposedly stayed in 1866. Uh, 1816. <laughs> that was my fault. She was already sick. Um, some people say that she might have had typhoid fever due to her symptoms. Um, but she was gonna die, and it was kind of obvious. <laughs> um, it's not funny. Um, her story has been bringing people together and um, enchanting them, and uh, it works. <laughs> <Words. laughs> um. Enslaved laborers. <laughs> Enslaved laborers, okay, enslaved laborers would bring, enslaved laborers would You're in your comfort zone now. This is the last someone has given up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> is that really going to be a bloopers reel? Now, as you can see, on this very special occasion, I'm dressed for a ball. However, on any given day, a man would Use any app, uh, okay, let me, let me do that. <laughs> now, as a man of my high class, I, uh, okay, one, I just, I, alright! Uh, well, let me, let me get into it, and that's normally what they, uh, with. And next, uh, I have my kid, what is, what is it? Okay. <laughs> Today I'm dressed as an upper class woman often would in one of the lavish balls that we held at the city tavern. Or, can we start again? Yes. Yeah. Um, women uh, who wore this clothing could, oh, can we? <laughs> Where you would see people often dressed as I am. Um, and today I'll be telling you about the women's wear that was often seen. <laughs> seen. Seen. So off scene. Totally normal. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you've learned anything from my intro, nothing matters, alright? We know a little bit more about one woman. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> we know a little bit more about one woman, an enslaved person named Candace. Because I can't follow up. <laughs> when you're ready. First, open the tavern. Oh, that's right. Hello, my name is Patrick, performing a magic trick using a napkin and a coin. Um, this could have been easily been used by um, hosts or hostess, so I'm going to put the coin in the middle and fold the napkin like so.